Good afternoon, everyone. I am here, home. I just have my brand new Field and Stream Shadowcaster kayak. It is 12 foot, three inches long. It has a 450 pound capacity. Uh, as you see, it is stock right at the moment. I have just got it. It's been raining for a couple days. Uh, just a cheap paddle for now as my plans are as most people do with these fishing kayaks from YouTube that I've noticed is uh, modifications to it which I also plan on doing however you know the only thing I have done so far is I know many people like to make their own wheels there's the pumpkin that's Lily uh, I chose to buy from Bass Pro Shops. They have the Ascend wheel cart. It's adjustable. Uh, a couple of clips, the tires comes off. It breaks down to three small pieces, which could then stick into the hatch. So I think that'll be a little better than something I can't take apart. Uh, the seat for standing in its upright position, which is nice. Uh, I'm a bigger guy, so, and I've sat on the seat, it's pretty wide, seems pretty durable, and the seat, and it's down, and then it has its, as most people already know, right, it has its third position, and the little rope, they had to lock it in, I don't have it clipped down at the moment, obviously, but this will be the first in a series of videos that I'm going to make here for YouTube. I've watched many other people's mods and usually you end up seeing the finished product. And what I'm going to do is a little more step by step of complete installations as I do them. However, this weekend, uh, Saturday, it's Memorial Day weekend, I'm going to take it out stock. To basically get an idea of how I may want things and where I may want things. Uh, in the future, of course, we'll have a trolling motor and a battery. That is why I chose this particular kayak. Because once you add that weight, the motor weight, the battery weight, and my own weight and gear, I needed something, you know, that held a little bit more than 300, 400 pounds. Is as I said, bigger guy. So we're gonna see how it goes tomorrow. A little kayaking, a little fishing. I think we'll just be in the local marsh tomorrow, and then perhaps Sunday here on the big lake. And that lake would be Lake Winnipesaukee here in New Hampshire. That is what I live next to. Um, that is about it, you know, uh, stay tuned, and well, as you can see, there's a couple scupper plugs, those are Hobie scuppers, uh, a little bit pricier than some of the others, but I like the nice black, simple look, the front compartment, how watertight it'll really be, remains to be seen, I do plan on taking all the various screws out and putting a little marine sealant on each penetrating screw here and stuff and sealing around it a little better but not right away you know closes up nice it's not not the lightest it is 98 pounds but that is not really that much weight. I mean, I can lift it with one arm still, so that's pretty good. And then the corner, well, for other projects, there'll be fall projects and things. You know, the panels from my snowmobile, which is currently at the shop. That will be a late mate summer fall project before the winter comes. And there'll be other videos, you know, because other fishing and whatnot here in the, on the lake Bef when I get that out. I need to replace the impeller so it will not be, I'm not going to spend the time this weekend with it. I will get that done as soon as possible and we'll get some video with, with that and the friend and more fishing. I also fish around 
the Massachusetts area various little things but uh, stay tuned for more and updates and modifications to come this is my and this is a side note my first YouTube video so I will gladly take some suggestions or you know enjoy thanks for watching